going to find buried treasure, Pirate Riley. Pirate Tara, check the map. What? Check the map. Check the map. What? Yes, Captain Chloe. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh. Yay! <laughs> There's the treasure. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> What does the map say, Pirate Tara? Look for water squirting in the air, Captain Chloe. There she blows! We're on our way to the treasure. What's next, Pirate Tara? It looks like a sea monster. Of course! There she is! Shoo, go, go! Don't be afraid, lovely carrot. She's a nice sea monster. She wants us to go that way. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you for you the directions. directions. What's next, Pirate Tara? It looks like a traffic light. <laughs> traffic light? <laughs> they don't put those in the ocean. They do in my ocean. Land ahoy! Land ahoy! Wow! I see an island! A pirate island! Pirate island! Excellent! Where's the treasure? Here's the map! Here's the map! All we have to do is follow the dotted line. There it is! Let's go! Pirates! They're digging up treasure! Let's go and say hello! What? <gasps> no, wait! What if they're not friendly pirates? I found my treasure chest! What treasures be inside? Ah, this is no fun. I've got four baskets of food, a pogo stick and a tricycle, four big diamonds and just one drum. I wanted lots of musical instruments, so I did. You'll be lucky. I've only got one bottle of juice and half a sandwich and I'm hungry. Hmm. I didn't get one single sparkling jewel. I love sparkling jewels. <laughs> <laughs> Hush now, and stop your complaining, pirates. Treasure is treasure. Har! No fair! There be no toys in me treasure chest. What kind of treasure does that be? Hello, Mr. Pirate Captain. Arr, hello. And who be you, young pirate? I'm Captain Chloe. You'll not be trying to steal our treasures now, will you? No, my friends and I want to help you. How might you be doing that, I ask? Well, you want instruments, right? You want food. You want jewels. And you want toys. That's right! So, all you have to do is sort your treasure and everyone will get what they want. How can that be done? We'll show you. Aha! Come all ye young pirates that follow the sea. Way, hey, sort of your things. Let's look at your treasure and see what it be. Give us some time and we'll sort all your things. And here go the whistles and shakers and drums. Way, hey, sort of your things. And here goes the food like the carrots and plums. Give us some time and we'll sort out our things. And here go the jewels and diamonds and rings. Way, hey, sort out your things. things. And here go the toys like a kite with a string. Give, Give us some, some time and we'll sort out your things. Now look all ye pirates that follow the sea. 
away. Hey, we sorted the things. Now all of the treasure is where it should be. We've had some time and we sorted the things. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Good job, mateys! Our treasure is sorted! Hooray! Hooray! Now let's bury it! Hooray! Excuse me, Mr. Pirate Captain. What do you want now, Captain Chloe? Are you going to bury the treasure again? Hi, that we are. Why? Well, er, uh, um, because that's what pirates do. We bury treasure. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather play with the toys than bury them? Well, uh, you know, it does look like fun. But toys are for burying. And so is food. And so are musical instruments. And, and so are jewels. Oh, dear. I don't understand. I thought all treasure was for burying. You can bury it, but it's more fun to use it. Like this. This do be fun, by Gar. In fact, it'd be really fun. In fact, it'd be more fun than burying treasure! <laughs> I don't think they're gonna bury their treasure anymore. They're having too much fun. Now look all ye pirates that follow the sea. Way, hey, we've sorted your things. Now all of your treasure is where it should be. We had some time and we sorted the things. How beautiful. I can see my breath. Ooh, oh, oh my, it's much too cold here. Whee! Ah, Chloe, what are you doing? <laughs> Making a snow angel, silly. Try it. Whoa. All right, uh, well, I'll try. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> hey, this is fun. <laughs> Seatbelts on. And off we go! Chloe, you're a princess. You're a princess too, Lil. Really? <laughs> Am I? Am I a princess? Yes! <laughs> Chloe, I'm fine. What's wrong with the snow? It's all hard and lumpy. Where are they going? Oh, now what do we do? Let's go ice skating. Mm, mm, mm. Jelly beans, this is fun, Chloe. Oh, 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 oh dear. Crumbs. Oh, thank you, lovely carrot. Whoa! 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 Why 
why the animals keep running away. Look, Chloe, paw prints. Those are big. Stay back, Chloe. They could be from a polar bear. <gasps> polar bears are scary. Not in my world. Do you think this polar bear was running away too? Let's ask him. Ask him? <laughs> you can't just walk up to a polar bear and... <laughs> oh, oh, wait for me. <laughs> hey, come back. Hello. Is anybody here? Good. Nobody home. Let's go now. <laughs> okay, time to go. <laughs> Come on. Nice to meet you, polar bears. <laughs> go on now. Shoo, shoo. Poor, poor bears. Poor bears? <laughs> they look so scared. What could they be scared of? What kind of snow is this? Ow! It's ouchy snow. Oh, dear. Ow! Snow's supposed to be soft. No wonder the animals don't want to stay out and play with us. We need to talk to Mr Snowcloud about this. Come on! Yay! It's like bouncing on a big marshmallow! Wow. <laughs> 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 Hello, children! <laughs> Pardon my laughter, <laughs> but your toes are tickling me! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> Oh, it's so nice to see such friendly faces. I'm afraid the animals down below haven't been very happy with me lately. That's because you've been dropping hard, round snow on them. Instead of soft, fluffy flakes. I know. <sighs> you see, I've lost my snowflake cutter, so I've had to just roll little snowballs instead. We could help you find your cutter. Nimbus, I'm afraid it's lost for good. <sighs> but we have some snowflake cutters you can borrow. Do we? Where? Right here. Snowmakers are we three. We love our shapes to see. A square with two. Triangles filled. Snowmakers are we three. <laughs> very pretty, very pretty indeed. Let's send them down. Children? <sighs> but what would I do when you leave? I still have no snowflake cutter. How would I make more snow? Don't worry, Mr. Cloud. You can keep my crown. What? Mine too! But, oh, you can keep mine as well. Oh, thank you! Oh, it's freezing. Careful, Chloe. You don't want to get wet. Of course I do, silly. I'm a deep sea diver. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> ah! Oh, a 
suppose it's not really that cold. Chloe, octopuses can be very dangerous, you know. Not in my world. Where did she go? You see, she didn't need our help after all. <laughs> Look at me! I'm riding a dolphin! 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 He wants to show us the ocean, Chloe. Lollipops, that's wonderful. Come on, Mac, let's go for a ride. Climb aboard, lovely carrot. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I don't think I... Octopus is right, Chloe. Maybe she simply can't do a cartwheel with eight arms. <gasps> Horses! Goodness, I've never seen such big seahorses. 
they're all this big in my world, lovely carrot. Can we ride them? Of course. You're welcome, Miss Chloe. I just held him in the right place until he could do it by himself. That was a very good idea. Maybe that's the way we can help Miss Octopus. Would you seahorses like to help Miss Octopus too? Then follow me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Octopus. Why not? Chloe thought of a wonderful way to help you with your cartwheel. Really? How? Wow! I'm doing it! I'm doing a cartwheel! It's working, Chloe! Cartwheel hooray! Thank you! Thank you for your help! Woohoo! That was very clever! Good job! You're welcome, Miss Chloe. Hey, everyone, hop on a horsey and join me. Someday soon, I'll be able to do a cartwheel all by myself. I just have to keep on practising. Look at me. I'm the station master. This hat means I'm the train conductor. Where's the train? I'll find it for you, Miss Chloe. Oh, dear. The train is miles from here. Maybe you should look through the other end, lovely carrot. What? Oh, yeah, right. I knew that. <laughs> I can see a train down in the valley, but it isn't moving. Something must be wrong with that train. Let's go and help. We can't help that train. It's too far away. Look. It is kind of far away, Chloe. And it's down a very steep hill. I know how we can get down there. How? how? A musical note? You can in my world. But <sighs> Oh well. Here I go! <laughs> Was that fast or what? <laughs> Again! There's the train! He's heading up the hill! He doesn't need our help after all! Hooray! Go, 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 I wonder how long he's been trying. These cows don't look very happy. Cows never look happy. <coughs> We're going to help you get up that hill, Choo Choo. But first, you look a bit dusty and rusty. Let's get you cleaned up all nice and shiny. At your service, Miss Chloe. Ah. 
<laughs> now let's wash Choo Choo. So I stoke the coal. Can I help? Sure. What do we do? Well, we, uh, uh... You feed the choo-choo. <coughs> These shovels are really heavy, Chloe. The shovels aren't heavy, silly. The coal is heavy. <coughs> I'll take a little off the top. <laughs> <laughs> now you're ready to start stoking. Here we go. Here we go. Fill him up, fill him up with lots of coal. With lots of coal. Choo Choo is full and ready to go. <laughs> strong enough to get up the hill. Or maybe his load is too heavy. Good thinking, Chloe. Let's make it lighter. We'll unhook the boulder car and come back for it later. <laughs> the load is still too heavy. Look, the cattle car! That will make it lighter. Mm. Mm. Sorry, ladies. We'll be back for you soon. <laughs> Let me 
fish. Ah! My turn. Snap! A pair of plants. That's not a pair. One's a plant and one's an eel. Oh, I never get a match. Careful, Chloe. Eels can be dangerous. Not in my world. It's my turn now. Let's see. <laughs> you don't say quack, lovely carrot. You say snap. Bring around the duckies. You're going to get a lucky. Squirty, 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 ink. <laughs> Look at that fish. She's purple. My favorite color. Excuse me, Miss Fish. You're very, very beautiful. <gasps> I am a... Where's the fish that matches you? <laughs> poor, poor Miss Fish. What's wrong? <laughs> there is no fish that matches me. I'm the only purple fish I know. Aren't there any other purple fish? Mm-mm. Not one. Fish, we'll find a match for you. Come on. The ocean is a beautiful place with lots of different fishes. Some are slow and some of them race. Snap, there's two fishies. We'll count two fishies and choose which ones are our favourite. They're all nice, it's hard to choose. Snap, there's two fishies. Round and round the sea we will go, counting up the creatures. Some have stripes and some of them glow. Snap, there's two fishies. A mermaid's heart is full of fun, just tell us what your wish is. Look at that, there's one plus one. Snap, there's two fishies. Thank you all for your help. I feel so much better. You do? But we didn't find you a match. I... No! <laughs> Oh. Uh, sorry. Every fish we saw today was pink. <gasps> That's right. So maybe if you were pink, you could find a match, Miss Fish. But I can't be pink. Can I? Of course you can. Stay right here. You know what to do, lovely carrot. I shall do my best, Miss Chloe. Ring around the darky, I didn't get all yucky. You missed me, you missed me with your pink ink. Whack! Hooray for lovely carrot! Here they come! We've got you now! Miss Fish. He wants to meet you. <laughs> I think they're a match. Chloe's favourite colour. So this is the Chloe Ocean. <gasps> Purple is my favourite colour. So Miss Fish must belong in the Tara Ocean. Brilliant! Let's go! Uh, where is the Tara Ocean? Tara has to lead us there. Me? Of course, it's your ocean. But, but... It's okay. Never mind. 
Wait, I can try. Follow me. There it is. I found it. The Tara Ocean. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, nice one. But how are we going to get Miss Fish into the Tara Ocean? She can't come out of the water like we can. No worries. I'll give her a lift. <laughs> Good luck! Do you think Miss Fish will find her match? I know she will. Look! Snap! A pair of purple fish! <laughs> wow! Look at this! It's amazing! It's freezing! We could go inside a shop. Brilliant idea, Chloe. Mmm. Mm. I like it out here. <laughs> Something smells yummy. What is it? I don't know, but I see it coming from that shop. See it? You can't see a smell. You can in my world. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my bakery. Ah! Oh no! Ah! Oh, but ah! <laughs> Junior? Oh. <laughs> that was fun! Ah, Junior, I am trying to bake here! Sorry, Daddy. I apologize, ladies. Uh, is your little duck friend okay? Yes, thank you. I am afraid uh, Junior is a little wound up today. Uh, it is birthday and... Uh, 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 I am trying to make his birthday cake, uh, but he keeps getting on the foot. We could help you make the cake. We could? That's right. We're bakers. Oh, thank you. That would be grand. Why don't you two gather the ingredients while I see if I can get Junior to go down for his nap? Uh, this could take a while. First we need sugar. Two of these cups full. This sugar is heavy. <laughs> One cup, two cups, there. Ooh, I still have that song stuck in my head. We need three cups of flour. <laughs> That's even heavier than the sugar of the carrot. Let's do it this way instead. One, two, three. <laughs> we have the sugar and flour. Excellent. Now we add milk and oil. We need to fill this four with milk and this one with oil. I can do that. Would you like to crack the eggs? Oh, yes. Pickles 
because the eggshell went in too. Uh, it just takes a little practice. Watch this. We are ready to stir it all up. If you're feeling really happy, stir some cake. Oh no! I'm singing it again! Danny's had that song stuck in her head all day today. Well, at least it is a good song. Yes, it is. If you're feeling really happy, stir some cake. If you're feeling really happy and your hands go clappy clappy, if you This is not taking a nap, Junior. But I am not tired, Daddy. Besides, I heard the singing. Can I stay here and listen to the singing? Please? Oh, Junior. If you stay, I will never get this cake done. What am I to do? Excuse me, Mr. Chef. Yes? Maybe we could sing for Junior while you finish the cake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is a brilliant idea, Chloe. Let's do it. Hooray! <laughs> If you want a happy birthday, have some cake. Happy, happy birthday. birthday! If you want a happy birthday, have some cake. Happy birthday! If you want a happy birthday, if you want a happy birthday, if you want a happy birthday, have some cake. Happy birthday! Oh, Chloe, what a pretty garden! Ah, 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 Bless you, lovely carrot. Thank you, Miss Chloe. These flowers make me sneeze. Mmm, they smell so good. Take them with you, Lil. I better not. It takes so long for them to grow back. Not in my world. Chloe, Lil, hurry! You have to see. Come on, hurry! What is it, lovely carrot? What did you see? <gasps> wow! Wait! Let me go first and make sure they're safe. Girls, those big flowers are perfectly safe. <laughs> as long as you don't sneeze. <laughs> oh, I felt a drop. Is it raining? I think it came from that fountain. 
It's so pretty. It's brilliant. <laughs> Sorry, my fault. <laughs> Thank you, lovely carrots. You're welcome, Miss Chloe. Oh! What happened? The flowers grew bigger. Uh, 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 Jim! Bless you! They grew again! I think it's the water from the fountain that's making them grow. Water them again, lovely carrots. <gasps> it is! It is the water! Let's make some more flowers grow. Uh, 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 see the flowers, see the flowers, short and small, short and small. Thank you. Ooh. Max fight! Wow, wow! <laughs> <laughs> no! Max fight! Worms! We found something too, Mac. Magic water! Magic water? You know, you are big. <laughs> you big ones will never have to worry about those birds again. Oh, my. Wouldn't that be nice? Hello, Mrs. Mouse. My name is Chloe. How do you do, Miss Chloe? Please don't eat me. Don't worry. Lovely carrot will never eat you. Oh, sometimes it's hard to be small. And my babies are even smaller. Those big birds are always after them. It must be nice to be so much bigger than they are. Would you like to be bigger than those birds, Mrs Mouse? Oh, yes! Then I could keep my babies safe. OK, then. Here we go. Is that big enough? No. Bigger! Bigger! Perfect. Oh, thank you. Now the birds won't ever bother my family again. Would you like to come with me and meet my children? That would be lovely. Follow me. Children. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh dear, I'm too big to go in. Mama, Mama. And my children are too frightened to come out. I'll get them for you, Mrs. Mouse. 
My hand is too big. Let me try. My hand is too big too. I can do it. We need someone small. Max small. You are small, Max. I'll bet you could reach Mrs. Mouse's children. Mama! Oh, please, do hurry. His hand fits. Mama! Mama! Oh, thank you so much. Sometimes it's really good to be small. Yay! Huh? 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 Bless you. Thank you. Let's paint. I'm going to paint that cow. Brilliant idea, Chloe. She's very far away. Can you bring her closer, lovely carrot? Oh, of course. I'll just, uh... Oh, wait, um, <laughs> you want her closer? Yes, please. <sighs> right. Closer. Nice cow. Good cow. Come with me. Come on. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, Miss Chloe. Mrs Cow is kind of busy right now. It's OK, lovely carrot. I'm almost finished. That's amazing. Brilliant. Let's see, Chloe. Wow. Great. <gasps> <gasps> Your cow is alive, Chloe. How could that happen? Anything can happen in my world. Wow. I want my painting to be alive too. So do I. Me too. No peeking, Soggy. I'm almost finished. It's a surprise for you. Ta-da! Aw, Soggy has a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what I painted. <laughs> a house. <laughs> Come on in. Oopsie, I forgot to draw the in. Whoa! <laughs> Hello! Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh? Loons! Yay! Beep, beep! Hop in, everyone! Chloe? Thank you, Jet. Here we go, Miss Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> You're too small to see so with me, lovely carrot. No worries. I'll get some help. What are you drawing? A stick, man. Mr. Stickman. <laughs> mm? Oh! Hello there. Map draw. Mm? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's try the seesaw. You're going to love this, Stickman. Mm -hmm. Hooray! It's working! Now it's your turn to go up. Push hard! Are you okay? Do you want to try that again? We'll go slowly. Uh-oh. Why don't we swing? 
flying instead. We must go high! Hop on and I'll push you! Want to go higher? Oops! Pickles, that wasn't fun, was it? Maybe he'll like the slides. Come on, slide down! Oh, no! <laughs> he liked it! Come on, you can go again! Hey, what's wrong? Lollipops, he can't hold on. He has no fingers. Of course, that's why he couldn't hold on to the swing. Or the seesaw handle. Mm. Flying feathers, it's all my fault. Oh. I forgot to draw fingers on him. Don't worry, lovely carrot. You can just draw them now. Great idea. But how many should I draw? Five on one hand and five on the other. Ten little fingers for his hands. Is this cool or what? He's going really fast! Lovely. Thank you. No problem. Rescuing runs in my family. My dad is the greatest rescue dog on the slopes. Wow. Can we meet him? Sure. Just follow me back to the ski lodge and I'll introduce you. Okay. Cool. Um, wait. No. It's this way. Um, maybe it's this way. <laughs> Could it be that way? That's it. Follow me. Sorry my dad wasn't here so you could meet him. He's probably out on a big rescue mission. Wow, do you ever go with him? Uh, no, not yet. I still have a lot to learn. I'm real good at rescuing. But I'm not so good at finding my way back to the lodge again. Would you like us to help you practice, Scout? That would be great. Thanks. <laughs> Scout to the rescue! Good job, Scout. <laughs> <laughs> You did it! Hooray for Scout! The rescuing part is easy. Now I just have to get us all back to the lodge. Hey! We'll follow my paw prints! Follow me! Great! Yes! Here we go! <sighs> my paw prints! Come back! No! Stop! Hey! Wait! Oh, Wuffles! Sorry my dad isn't back yet. He must be on a really big rescue. <gasps> I'll never be a great rescue dog like Dad. Of course he will. How does your dad find his way back from a rescue, Scouse? He says he looks for landmarks on the way out. 
and follows them back when the rescue is done. What's a landmark? Something that's always there, like a certain tree or rock. That's a brilliant idea. I know it is, but I never get it right. You just need more practice. <laughs> oh, please! Someone rescue me! <laughs> Here he comes! I saw lots of landmarks on my way here. Follow me! I saw a big fir tree. And I passed four rocks, like these. These smell like the right kind of bushes. Are you sure this is the right way? Yep! I saw all these landmarks on our way here. Did you see them in this order? Does that matter? What happened? You have to follow the landmarks back in the right order, Scouse, or you end up going in circles. Oh, no! Even when I use landmarks, I can't find my way home. Let's try it again. No, I give up. I'm never going to be a great rescue dog like my dad. Hey, where is my dad? It'll be dark soon. I'm sure he's okay. No, he never stays out on a rescue for this long. Something must be wrong. I've got to go and find him. Wait! We'll go with you and help you remember the landmarks in the right order. Great, thanks. One. We need the big ski lodge, big ski lodge, big ski lodge. Two. We go past the red ski fly to help Scout find his father. Three. We go past a grove of trees, grove of trees, grove of trees. Four. We go past a frozen pond to help Scout find his father. Scout to the rescue! I thought I heard something in that burrow, so I went in to check it out. Then the snow fell and blocked the entrance, and I, I couldn't turn around and dig my way out. So I rescued you? You sure did. Lead us home now, Scout. Huh? But I can't. Yes, you can. Just remember our song. Backwards. Right. Follow me. Four. We go past a frozen pond. Frozen pond. Frozen pond. Three. We go past a grove of trees to get back to the ski lodge. Two. We go past a red ski flag. Red ski flag. Red ski flag. One. We see the big ski lodge and now we're almost home. I just remembered the order of the landmarks and turned them around. I'm very proud of you, son. Thanks. I'll race you to the ski lodge. What? Hey! <laughs> <Yeah! Woo -hoo! laughs> Look at the beautiful castle. And our beautiful dresses. Wee, wee. <laughs> and your beautiful hats. Our hats? Let's look. They look like yummy ice cream cones. <laughs> Do you think there are kings and queens inside the castle? Let's go and see. There are kings and queens here, lovely carrot. Lots of them. Here's the king of the jungle. Queen of the birds. And there's the queen of the desert. <laughs> ah! Ah! Lovely carrot, what's wrong? She's staring at me. Oh, <laughs> it sounds like 
Wiz Wiz is behind the picture. Wiz was behind the picture. That must be where the kings and queens sit. I'm Queen Tara. Make way for Queen Chloe. To the queens! <laughs> so, what do queens do anyway? Well, uh, they wear crowns and, um, uh, sit on thrones and, uh, tell their knights what to do. Stand up, Sir Knight, in shining armour. <laughs> into that room. Mr. Knight! Wiz! Are you in there? Wiz! Wiz! Wiz? Oh, excuse us. Abracabam! Can do, can see. Do not come in. This room's for me! Abracabam! Can do, can see. Go away! Just let me be! <laughs> 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 oh, oh dear. Uh, whatever am I going to do? Uh. Oh, poor wizard. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong. I am Abracaban, the greatest wizard in the world. <laughs> oh, it's just that my trusty wand seems to be in the fritz today. What's in here? Ah, <laughs> that is a magic cube. Inside is a potion that can make you invisible. Ooh, I'd love to see that. Your wish is my command, Miss Chloe. <laughs> He's invisible. I'm right here. Am I invisible? Nope. <laughs> Your wand is broken and your magic potions don't work. Are you sure you're a great wizard? Uh, I am Abracaban, the greatest wizard in the world, and I shall prove it. This is my magic sphere. With this, I can change the weather. Abracaban can do, can see. Make it snow on them and me. No, it's uh, supposed to make it snow. Well, it looks like snow. Oh, this will never do. I simply must find my magic cone. What's a magic cone? It's what I wear on my head when I do my magic. <laughs> the magic cone is his hat. No, I misplaced it somewhere. Uh, nothing works correctly without it. Why didn't you tell us that before? <laughs> uh, um, uh, <laughs> um uh, oh, I was too embarrassed to tell you. Great wizards never ask for help. Everyone needs help sometimes. When was the last time you saw it? Well, I remember putting it on my bedpost last night. 
Perhaps I left it there. But I did have it with me in the bathroom while brushing my teeth this morning. Let's look there. But I was wearing it when I visited the Queen of the Throne Room after breakfast, so it has to be there. Are you coming? Oh, I hope it's here. Yes! My magic cone! Mr. Knight! Whiz! Hooray! Lollipops, is it your birthday, Mr. Knight? I'm so glad I found you. <laughs> this calls for a celebration! Abracamam can do, can see! A celebration for my friends and me! Abracabam can do, can see! A cube and a spear and a cone, all three! A wizard needs help with his magic, you see! We found his cone in the throne room, did we? Let's try them out. Huh? Hey, wait for me. Whee! Whee! <laughs> I love flying. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Stop. Huh? Ooh. Mr. Owl is coming to the library. And he has three new books. I love stories. It's going to be a grand time. We can feel it in our whiskers. I just hope Mr Owl can find his reading glasses today. Come on. Follow us. Let's go. Lollipops. Look at all the books. Isn't it amazing? Here he comes! Yay! 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 Uh, uh, hello, everyone. I have uh, not one, not two, but three new books to read to you today. Now, uh, where did I put my glasses? I, I can't see a thing without them. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Owl. May I help you? Who said that? I'm Chloe, Mr. Owl. I've come to listen to you read. Uh, lovely to meet you, Chloe. But I'm afraid I won't be reading after all. I uh, can't find my glasses. Oh. When did you wear them last? Hmm. I was reading in bed last night. I love to read, you know. And when you got sleepy, what did you do? I pushed my glasses up on my head. Woohoo! Woohoo! Here they are! Very good detective work, Chloe. Ah, thank you! You're welcome, Mr. Owl. Lovely to see all of you here. What? Oh. There are only two books. I'm sure I put three books here. You did. Now one is missing. But you still have two to choose from. <sighs> You're right. I... <gasps> now there's only one book. You're a good detective, Chloe. What's going on? It's a mystery. First there were three books. Then two. Then one. <gasps> then none. Now all of my books are gone. Chloe, you must figure out who has taken them. I'll try. Did you see anything strange, Mr. Owl? Any kind of clue? Well, I did see a flash of black and white disappearing out the library door. Could that be a clue? It's a start. Come on, detectives. 
Mr Owl saw a flash of black and white going out of the door. So whoever took his books was probably black and white. Like that! I'll stop him! <laughs> Definitely a skunk. <laughs> Sorry. He startled me. <laughs> Excuse us, Miss Skunk. A black and white animal took some books from Mr. Owl. Was it you? Oh, no. I would never do that. OK. Thank you. <gasps> Oops. Sorry. Let's look for another animal that's black and white. Like a zebra or a panda bear. Or a penguin. There are no penguins in the forest. <gasps> there are in my world. <laughs> it could have been a penguin who took the books, but I heard wings flapping like someone was flying. Uh, but penguins don't fly. Ducks fly. Maybe it was a duck. A duck? Never. Let's find out. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> He says he certainly didn't take the books and that no duck would ever take something without asking first. We're sorry, but we have to talk to everyone. OK, so what animal is black and white, can fly and sometimes takes things without asking? Birds can fly. And some birds are black and white. But what kind of black and white bird takes things without asking? A magpie! You found her! <laughs> Great job, Chloe! Settle down, children. First a story, then it's nap time. Excuse me, Mrs Magpie. Oh, hello there. Is that your book? No, I borrowed it from the library. We used to go and listen to Mr Owl read every day. But lately, he can never find his glasses. Today he did find his glasses, but then he couldn't find his books. Someone took them without asking. <gasps> You're supposed to ask before you borrow a book. Oh, my! I didn't know that. I'm the one who took Mr Owl's books. I'm so very sorry. I must make it up to him. I'll give him some of my treasures. Then maybe he'll forgive me. I know the perfect treasure you can give him, Mrs Magpie. My three lovely books. Thank you so much for finding them, Chloe. I'm sorry I took them, Mr Owl. Please forgive me. Apology accepted, Mrs. Magpie. And remember, you can always borrow a book from my library. Just ask. Now, I hope you and your family will stay to hear me read. If I can find my glasses, that is. Mrs. Magpie has a present for you, Mr. Owl. She made it herself. Present? Woohoo! I love presents. It's a chain to hold your glasses. Just hang it around your neck and you'll never lose them again. Ooh, wonderful! Best present I've ever received. Who wouldn't love it? All is well, a lesson is learned. She went it without asking. And Mr. Owl was given a gift. He'll always find his glasses. And now it's time to read. Once upon a time, long, long ago... I'm a horse rider. Oh, where's Chloe? Tally ho! This is Mandy. She can jump really high. Watch! No, Chloe! This jump is one, two, three, four rails high! No worries, lovely carrot. 
Mandy can do it. who did all the work. Right, Mandy? We were a team, Chloe. <laughs> Mandy can talk? She can in my world. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Hey, did you hear that? Uh, I don't hear anything. It was probably a cricket or something. Oh, look at your bell boots. They're very, very beautiful. Thank you. There, I heard it again. I have lots of beautiful things, Tara. Uh, come on, I'll show you. I can't wait to see all the ribbons and trophies you've won. I'll go in first and make sure everything's tidy. Be right back. <laughs> hey, Mandy. Are you going to introduce us to your new friends? Um, not yet. Why not? They think I'm really good at jumping. Well, you, you are. are. I am. With your help. We help you jump really high. Shh. I don't want my new friends to know that I can't jump without you. Yeehaw! But you can. Yeah. We helped you a lot at first, but now we hardly help you at all. I'll tell them about you later, but don't say anything yet. Please? Well... well... I'll polish you until you sparkle, and I'll never, ever make you go out in the mud. We do hate mud. And we do like to be polished until we sparkle. Okay, we'll stay quiet. Oh, thank you. Look at this beautiful stall. Do you live here all by yourself? Yep, it's just me. Ooh, huh, what was that? More crickets? <laughs> no, of course not. Those were horseflies. Ah, really big horseflies. Oh, it's almost time for my next jumping contest. Would you like to help me get ready? Of course. Yes. Okay, lovely carrot, turn on the water. I wonder if those big horse flies are still in there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, never heard a horse fly laugh before. Come on, lovely carrot. Huh? <laughs> 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 What's wrong, Mandy? I, um, almost forgot my bell boots. Thank you for bringing them, lovely carrot. Come on, everyone. We don't want to be late for the contest. Have rained while we were inside. Lollipops! Is everything okay, Mandy? Yay! 
Yes, everything's fine. Just fine. Ooh. Ew. Yuck. 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 I knew it wasn't horse flies. Mandy, your bellboots are talking. Hello, Boots. I'm Chloe. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. How come we didn't meet you before? Mandy didn't want you to know that we've been helping her win these contests. But we hate going through the mud. It's really yucky. So, you're gonna have to do this one by yourself, Mandy. Sorry. No, please, don't go. I can't jump without you. Yes, you can. Yeah. <sighs> I guess we'll have to skip the jumping contest today, Chloe. I can't jump without my magic boots. Have you ever tried? Well, uh, no. Come on, let's try. Officers. Someone needs our help. For any problem, big or small, Chloe's squad is on the ball. I hate to bother you, officers, but I have a bit of a problem. So tell us, what's wrong, sir? Every day for the last week, I've been locking my stand. Then going inside to take my nap. But when I wake and open the stand again, my bananas are missing. Your bananas aren't missing. I haven't taken my nap yet. Don't worry, Mr. Monkey. We'll look for clues and get to the bottom of this. For any problem, problem big or small, Chloe's squad is on the ball. Officer Chloe, did you find out who's taking my bananas? I'm sorry, Mr. Monkey. Not yet. <sighs> I love bananas. I used to eat lots of them, but now I'm on a diet, so I only eat one a day. Here comes the rest of the squad. Maybe they saw something. I saw a dinosaur on roller skates. I didn't see anything. Let's talk to some customers. Maybe they've seen something. Excuse me, Mum. Yes? Do you shop at Mr Monkey's fruit stand? Why, yes. Look. <laughs> Have you noticed anything odd at the fruit stand lately, Mum? No, although Mr Monkey was a bit cranky when he started his diet. Huh? But now he's back to his jolly old self again. Thank you for your help, Mum. Ah, whatever it was, 
I didn't do it. <laughs> uh, only joking. What can I do for you, officer? It's about Mr. Monkey. Someone is stealing his bananas. What? Stealing bananas? Oh, this is indeed a sad day for monkeys everywhere. Must have just happened today, huh? What do you mean? Well, yesterday, I saw Mr. Monkey walking down the street eating two bananas, one in each hand. Good day, officer. Good day, sir. May I ask you some questions? <laughs> I'd be happy to answer your questions. Do you know who's been stealing Mr. Monkey's bananas? Don't know anything about it. Not a big fan of bananas. Unless they're frozen, of course. <laughs> I'm a wee bit miffed with Mr. Monkey, though. The other day I said hello to him, and he walked right past me. That doesn't sound like Mr. Monkey. For any problem, big or small, Chloe's squad is on the ball. Then you've solved the crime? Not yet, but we will. OK, squad. What did we find out? Everyone says Mr. Monkey is nice. Not everyone. Mr. Polar Bear said that he walked right past yesterday and didn't even say hello. And Mrs. Flamingo said he's been a bit cranky from his diet because he only gets one banana a day. Really? I talked to a monkey who saw him yesterday with two bananas, one in each hand. Excuse me, officers, but it's time for my nap. <laughs> Would anyone care to join me? No. We should stay out here and keep an eye on things. Right then. Good luck. I think I know who's taking the bananas. We'll stay here and try to catch him in the act. You know who it is? Who is it? I don't want to blame anyone until I know for sure. Let's just keep watch and see what happens. Lovely carrot. You're welcome, oh. Miss Lady. <gasps> Someone's coming. It's Mr. Monkey. He's still asleep. Pickles. It's Mr. Monkey. <gasps> He's stealing his own bananas. <coughs> Never fear. I'll stop him. Him. Stand back. Ah, yeah, my goodness. Oh, what, what am I doing out here? You were sleepwalking, Mr. Monkey, and stealing your own bananas. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I can't believe it. It was me all the time. I was stealing my own bananas in my sleep. <laughs> How'd you know it was me, Chloe? First, you're the only one with a key to the stand. And you said that your bananas disappear every day while you're napping. Mrs. Flamingo said you've been a bit cranky from your one banana a day diet. But someone saw you with two bananas. Finally, Mr. Polar Bear said that you didn't say hello to him when you walked past him. The only way that would ever happen is if you were sound asleep. Oh, oh, oh. that is brilliant, Chloe. Thanks, but we all work together to figure it out. 
For any problem, big or small, Chloe's squad is on the ball. Hooray, hooray for my favourite police officers. Hooray! Is this where inventors live? Where's the door? It's up here! Let's see if anyone is home. <laughs> I wonder what all these levers and buttons do. Careful, Jack. You don't know. Thank you, Miss Chloe. You're welcome, lovely carrot. Ooh! Look at this very, very big ball pit. I'm going inside. They're not balls, they're balloons. I found a pretty purple one. <laughs> What's so funny? Your hair! It looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wiz. Where is he? There he is. How is he doing that? Anything can happen in my world. <laughs> that may be true, young lady. But in this case, your little metal friend is sticking to the ceiling because of a magnet. <laughs> Are you an inventor? Inventor? <laughs> I am the world's greatest inventor. Can you invent something so we can walk on the ceiling like Wiz? Already have. Just put on those metal boots. Yes! Was it brilliant? It yes. was! I think so. I think not. And I need to invent something brilliant for the next toy invention convention. What's an invention convention? Well, it's where a bunch of inventors get together to show their latest toy inventions. Maybe we can help. Maybe you can. We could invent something cool with this. Or with this. <laughs> Too dangerous! <laughs> What's this? Ah, that is one of the toys I may take to the convention. It's a cloak of invisibility. Ooh! I don't see anything. Of course not. It's invisible! Ah! Are you really under there? 
I am. One problem, though. If I want to be totally invisible, I have to put the cloak over my face. <gasps> it works. Yes, but now I can't see where I'm going. Ah! Sorry, lovely carrot. Didn't know you were there. So, you see the problem with that toy? How about this toy? That's just a plain old scooter. Actually, it's a flying scooter. Try it, Chloe. It still has a few kinks. Whee! Ha! Ooh, hang on, Chloe! Yikes! Look out! Oh, uh. oh no! Oh, no. Oh, sorry, guys! Pickles! I think it's out of petrol! Jump, Chloe! Whee! As you can see, it needs a little work. Maybe you should try inventing a simple toy, Mr. Inventor. That's silly, Chloe. Simple toys aren't fun. I think they are. Like this stick. What can you do with a stick? Well, you can hold it in front of you and pretend you're leading a band. It's a pony and ride on top of it. <laughs> Brilliant! What else? It could be a guitar. Or a baseball bat. <laughs> Giggling gaggles of geese! That's the best toy I've ever seen! Stupendous! Brilliant! How did you ever get it to work so well? We just pretended. Genius! I shall call this toy Chloe's Incredible Pretending Toy! Hundreds of games in one little stick! Just add imagination! It'll be the hit of the invention convention! This calls for a celebration! Mm -hmm.